Hello and welcome to the 41st tutorial on the Cocos 2DX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to detect multiple touches moved using the on touches move method. This tutorial seems you've done tutorial 40 if you haven't don't worry there will be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement this directly into your own project plus there will be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Firstly, what you want to do is go to your head file and make sure this line is valid, so uncommented, on touches moved. And you just comment it out because if you don't implement it, it will crash or it just won't build. And just uncomment this line, so we've got the on touches moved assigned to the listener. And then we're just going to implement this method here on touches moved. And so just go down here, move this down a little bit. Now I'm going to do void hello world on touches moved and it's basically the same as this, so you could copy and paste that and then just change the relevant name in. And in here we are simply going to put cc log uh, multi yeah, multi got to spell it correctly, multi touches have moved. Now save that and run it. Obviously in, in your own application, in your own game, you'll probably want to do something else than just do a CT log. Maybe you can you, you want to do some sort of pinch zoom gesture, but this is just to show how you can detect it. Okay, so if we click then move, multi touches have moved, and that's it. Literally, that is it for this tutorial. Obviously, if you have um, more devices, I mean, a device, and you can do some cool multi touch gestures, like I said, do the pinch and zoom, sort of like what Angry Birds do, or some sort of gestures with two fingers, uh, and you can drag and drag, I don't know, some sort of map around. The next tutorial, we're going to cover touches ended for multi-touch. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can just comment or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.